So oh, hey guys welcome back to end badminton in this video we will see how to prevent any injury during playing badminton so without wasting any time let's get started Legend was forced to hang up your So my first point to discuss is you have to take a break from your regular routine if you are training too much and you are not taking any break this is not good for your body and your mental health you must take a break and visit outside like in the mountains or near the river or in a very greenery areas so my second point is you have to stay hydrated during play you must drink uh, the electrolytes and the water during your play in a very hardcore session or during the intense match it helps you to prevent from injury or any cramps during the play that will become a hindrance in your play so my third point is choose the right shoe this can be a reason for your back pain and your knee injury that you are not using the right shoe that suits you and if you are confused which shoes to buy i have already made the video because this can be a reason for your back pain and knee pain other than the badminton shoes you have to focus on your running shoes because it help you to prevent the potential long term damage and if you guys want me to give away a nice shoes please tell me in the comment section so my fourth point is you have to stay on the high protein diet and maintain a well balanced meal why i'm saying that a well balanced meal because the micronutrients play a very important role in your diet other than the macronutrients and if you want me to make a separate video on the diet version of the badminton players you have to tell me in the comment section so i can make it in the advance as a badminton player how much protein you need you need 1.5 per kilogram of your body weight protein so let's move to the next point which is strength and conditioning workout so strength and conditioning workout is one of the most integral piece of athlete training puzzle so without the right level of strength and conditioning training player will not be able to enhance their performance to the full potential most of the guys in the comment section comment that lazy ja don't have the right technique or like that but lazy ja have the maximum power in his shoulder why this is so because of the strength and training workout and for that purpose you have to do it right so my fourth point is proper warm up and cool down so as you are seeing in the clip that malaysian team are preparing for their practice session and they are warming up their shoulders and legs why i am emphasizing the proper warm up and cool down because if you are not having a good blood flow in your legs and muscles so now some people comment me that why it is so important to be having a very good workout because if you don't have a good warm up in the beginning you won't be able to give your full potential in the first set and you probably lose in the first game and then you have a mental pressure on the second game as well and you probably lose the match why it is essential to have a good proper cool down because it avoid injuries reduce muscle soreness and improve your recovery time when you again play the next number 7 focus more on mobility and flexibility because mobility and flexibility helps you loosen your muscles and get a better blood flow in your muscles mobility is often a part of your warm ups but you might also coordinate doing it after the training as well at that point you are warm up and limber and you will get a maximum advantage get the advantage of getting more mobile which helps you to increase your range of motion and increase your reach in the game as well I think ball number 4 chaute chen is doing mobility exercises these these are very easy and very coordinative and very helpful for your training as well number 8 don't try to play on your full potential during any pain several factor cause that athletes of all level to continue to play through the pain the warrior mentality shame from your showing weakness and letting others down pressure from teammates and coaches and threatens image or real and loss of playing time is the main factor that athletes are trying to play number 9 make sure to clean your court as you can see a little sweat spot on the court can cause a hazardous injury for your life this is the main reason for the ankle twist you can see victor axson just slipped on a wet spot or just over stretched from that side so make sure to clean your courts 
wipe your ports during the tournament and during the practice as well and number 10 is subscribe my youtube channel you can subscribe my youtube channel for more such informative videos in the future you will never miss any future updates so guys download the one x bet and start winning the money and use my code bad an so you can have the bonus amount in your account there yeah.